Okay, folks, I don't know, I haven't made too many videos lately. Had some stuff going on at work. Uh, they had issues with some videos I was making. And some other stuff. Anyways, um, I know that's don't look too much like a Ford Explorer. Neither's that. I know you're saying, well, where's that? Where's that? Okay, so you uh, the Explorer was in a little bit of an accident. Um, not going to elaborate too much on detail. Some lady was going too fast through a curve and something happened. Messed up the car paint on some stuff. I'm not going to show any videos of it or really talk about it until I get it back uh, from having everything fixed on it. And, or, uh, well, it's sitting to have a couple things looked at at my buddy shop. But I'm not really going to talk about things till that lady goes to court, just out of respect. But anyways, this is a 94 GMC Jimmy. Interior's in not bad shape. I got the back vault junk, a whole bunch of things out of Explorer. Got tools in there, my other stuff. Need to put the rearview mirror back on. Of course, you know, get something and the uh, rearview mirror swinging. So I just took it off until I got the windshield clean. And the windows were extremely dirty in this one while I picked it up. Somebody had been hauling hay in there. I cleaned out the interior. I have not washed the body of the truck yet. And the cold weather's creeped up on me. But other things that were more important than washing the paint. I mean, both front fenders look like that. It's two-wheel drive. That's from the plastic trim there. And that just happens. Um, that... Uh, plastic trim holds the water in there where the screws go in road salt gets there it just destroys it it's a matching plastic trim that's on the quarter panel um it may have been dealer added on it may not have been factory installed i haven't looked at the codes i did look it has a, a g80 posi which is well actually in these things it's a gov gov lock you know the dreaded one but um I have 400 in that one. Got 1100 in the Silverado extended cab, three door, short bed, two wheel drive. And uh, I'm already looking at a set of wheels to buy. Just some uh, stock seals are in better condition than that one. Or than uh, the other ones. That's a spare wheel. And these are the uh, chrome cap steel wheels on really don't care for those too much but we'll talk about that another time but anyways uh other than a few things i threw in here the other day when i picked this up at my buddy's shop because I bought it and the brake line blew out so i took it over there had to change the brake line if you could see how bad that interior door panel is um back seat was folded up but it's got dirty too Headliner's coming down. I'm going to, have to change the headliner in this. But anyways, uh, the previous owner of this truck smoked in here a lot. Like, uh, I've already sprayed window cleaner on the windows. I, and uh, stuff. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Somebody stopped and had to talk with me for a minute. So, the I've already taken... Uh, some window cleaner to this uh, console because it is just stuff that spilled on it and it was actually black here um, the seats got wear but I mean they don't really have holes in them I'm, I threw some of my stuff in here on top of some stuff that's already here and yeah I bought uh, these are actually uh, Scott's glass shop towels I bought them where I work um, now that's actually mine but uh yeah you know, the seat belt works at least on the driver's side outside door handle doesn't work on the passenger door uh and i purposely have that window open um got myself some brake rotors bought myself some brake pads yes i know they may be harder than the rotor but that's why i chose my got my other jacket in there bought a brake line kit for it and it turned out it was just a flex hose and somehow in the process uh the boxer brake line kit disappeared uh, that was over at my buddy's place but he put a flex hose on here for me and blood breaks out he has a lift and yeah 
when he actually had the time to get to it, he had it done in uh, yeah, pretty quick order. Um, yeah, I haven't really looked at the seat too much in the daytime. I've only had it home, uh, got it home, or got it Tuesday on my lunch break from work and dropped my Explorer off. Mm -hmm. I then had it here yesterday. I went and I did a little drive around in it and figured out, yeah, we're all I need to fix it before I drive it. And today I'm just not in the mood to start tearing off that wheel and stuff. I get that another day, but I'm going to try cleaning this thing up some and I thought I'd make a video detailing or some videos detailing that because I know people buy cars in this condition and you're going well how do I ever clean that now, that's carpet there's a big old hole over there in the carpet in the driver's side where there wasn't a floor mat somebody's foot just you can eat through your carpet with foot I've done it before in a GM vehicle um, I might just take a floor mat and uh, some sheet metal screws and screw it down to the floor so that way or to the carpet so that way it doesn't move up under the gas pedal and just cover it up but I'm going to clean this up some see how clean I can get this truck to be um, I'll say that both bedsides have both got the cancer in them back bumpers a little bit tweaked I got my stuff in the bed um, but you can, I don't know if you can tell how dirty that back glass is. It is just, it's dirty. And I can see where the tobacco stains are on the seat back. I'm not sure if the, I don't think the seat back folds down on this one because the seat bottom actually lifts up on this truck. Yeah, I think the headrest I can probably get to. I'm probably, I think these here, actually the headrest will remove. I'm going to try to just get it cleaned up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one or not. I might. I might keep it for a while and sell it. But, you know, I'll pick up the truck. I end. Yeah. Glove box looks like that. And that side. Those are somebody else's papers. Um, yeah, that's just... I don't know if you can see that because of the lighting. But that thing... That gray consulate there, it's discolored. Uh, the A trim, A pillar trim, I can see where the window cleaner got on it and it started melting into uh, the tobacco residue. And it needs a good cleaning. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, I'll probably make some videos yeah, showing some of the things I've done. I'm not going to show you every last minute of it. I don't ever do that, anyways. Um, some people have been commenting on my videos about something about I need to use a tripod. I don't have a tripod uh, for this phone. I don't have the adapter for it. Um, I also have a condition that causes my hands to shake like that. And there's not much I can do about it. Uh, so, if you want shake-free videos, go to another channel because mine are going to have shakes in them my hands shake there's nothing i can do about it my whole body shakes and tremors at times that's just part of the condition i have um i've tried getting people to record stuff for me before so i could be on camera explaining things and that just doesn't seem to ever work out too well um videos don't get made right they seem to aim things at my feet you know or uh they're aiming up my nose or something else like that. So the videos don't ever get shown. Oh, yep, there's one of my neighbors driving through. Well, I've jawed enough for now. I'll uh, think about posting this on YouTube and get back to some of y'all later. Later, YouTube land.